our webcast today. Uh, our topic today is DMS by Simova as a mobile app, how you can archive documents while on the go. I'm very happy you took the time to join us today for our webcast. And before we start with our webcast, I would like to point out our YouTube channel here. So if you don't want to miss any uploads regarding our Business Central extensions uh, and all our other apps, um, make sure to subscribe and uh, turn on notifications to don't miss an update. I now want to introduce uh, the presenters, presenters for today, uh, as some of you may don't know us. So my name is Max Krampe. I've been with Simova for over three years now, and I'm responsible for marketing, sales, and partner management at Simova. And I will function as today's moderator and also give you a short introduction into the topics. I've brought with me my colleague Kerem for the live demo. May you introduce yourself? Yes, yeah, thanks, Max. And I'm Kerem. Um, I'm a sales consultant for about five years at Simova right now. And I'm more than happy to show you more about the DMS Courier app. Yeah, thanks, Karim. And uh, now let's move on to the agenda to see what we will be looking at together in this webcast. First of all, we will have a look at usage scenarios. So um, what kind of processes can be processed with the so-called Courier app, which is the uh, app for the document management system by Simova. And then we will jump right into a live demo to see how this career app uh, looks and feels. Um, we will have a look how it um, will uh, look on an iPhone in iOS. And after that, we will also return documents via this career app um, to the document management system in Business Central. And we will also have a look at the handling of these incoming documents in Business Central um, if they are uh, directed to the right place where they are stored in the DMS. Now let's focus on the usage scenarios. So we have two um, different scenarios, one for internal use, which is um, when employees, for example, while they're on the go, um, take pictures or scan documents and can return these directly to the right place in Business Central without having to log on with their notebook or something like that. And on the other hand, we can provide this app to end customers. So they are able to upload, for example, signed documents um, or just upload process related documents directly back to the um, providing company that is providing this career app. And I now want to give the word to Kirim for the live demonstration of the career app. And yeah, welcome to the live uh, part of this webcast today. So um, before we start, as Max already said, we have different uh, use scenarios to use the application. So we're on the go. It's a, really a benefit when you're on the go and use the DMS or you want to scan documents or even yeah, take some photos of uh, yeah, any documents on your uh, on your desk or even if you uh, are working with items and you have a warehouse you can also yeah make a picture of your items and then send it directly to the dms within a few seconds so before we start for our yeah uh, live demo part um, i want to show you what really uh, how the um, archiving is uh, being uh, yeah processed within uh, the DMS career app and within BC. So let's start with just a qu uh, quick email. So with the DMS career app, we are able to yeah, create emails with QR code in it. So uh, for this example, you receive the QR codes from Business Central to yeah, external users or even internal users. And then you provide specific information uh, for the yeah, DMS career app. With this QR code, we can just scan this and then we know when we yeah, scan documents or take some photos, then we know uh, where we uh, will store them in the DMS later on in BC. So in this case, Max already sent me this email. For my part, I'll just have to uh, make a little scan with the DMS Korea app and then we're good to go. So let's start this. So I'll jump back again. 
and open up this view and then let's jump back into this all right so that was my camera let's go back to the home screen so this is my, now my uh, yeah my iphone it's also on android devices um too but for us it's really simple we just open the korea app we will be greeted by the yeah, face id and we are now already in the dms korea app as we see we are presented with a qr code scan so we have seen the qr code within the email i will open also again the email on my screen and then we'll just make we'll take my phone and make a qr code scan and then we see the qr code was processed maybe it was a little bit too fast but it's just a scan of this qr code and we're good to go we also see the information that are as yeah saved within the qr code so we see the receiver we can always yeah, provide this information to the user so he knows from which receiver he uh, should uh, yeah, take this task and what document he should uh, archive. We have here our, uh, our NDA with the restriction of documents and we can make uh, or scan and or select up to five documents within this process. For this um, a specific scenario, why we chose an NDA, you are really up. It's really up to you. So you choose your uh, you choose your document uh, content types within the DMS, and you can say with the QR code which type of documents you want to receive back. So in this case, we have many, many, many customers in different industry solutions or different industries, and every everyone can um, build up their own processes. So they can just re uh, request another type of document. It could be a contract document, it could be a signed document, any document they like or any photo they like. So it's not specific in NDA. In our simple case, we will see in the DMS later on, we've just put it into the basic context uh, of uh, within B uh, BC. So you also choose the end part. So the where, uh, the, so you just select where the this document should be stored in DMS. It could be a sales quote, it could be also a contact anywhere you like in the DMS in Business Central. So for the part of our app, it's really simple. We just select documents within this box. I'll just tap, tap uh, just select it, and then we're uh, greeted by two options. We can scan the scan documents, or we can select documents. Let's start by uh, scanning documents. We will be asked if we can just put a file name here. For me, it's in my example, it's page one. All right, and then I'm good to go. I will just do this process now a little bit slower because I know that this recording uh, of my iPhone can sometimes be a little bit rough. But as you've seen on this document, you see that you have here like a template or like a recognition of this document, right? So in this case, when we just put next, You've seen the document is has been yeah uh, scanned, uh, and the, for this one specifically, we can also choose to make the contrast a little bit more. So it's it looks more like a really scanned document. So you don't have to put any effort to go into uh, to go to your scanner or to go to your printer uh, anymore. So you're on the go. You can be outside if you like to, and just make these photos or scan your documents uh, if you like. With done. I just uh, scanned my document and I I can oh, I'm ready to upload it. Let's select another one because I know that my NDA is signed. I have two pages. We can say page two. And then we just take another picture of our signed NDA. You see again the template and here it's a good example of uh, the recognition of the edges. So you can also here adjust the edges if you like to, just um, if, you, if you know the recognition wasn't uh, a go as good as uh, it normally does, but um, you're free to up to adjust. And then when we again click on next, we have the scanned document here. You can also put in the scanned um, contrast level, but as you see, 
this in the, within this app sometimes it could be uh, through the light um, proportions here and uh, for example in my office it can uh, be sometimes in this way but it really seems like a uh, real printer you can also just leave it here and just scan this document or with this uh, with this um, contrast level all right so we can also select documents if we like to so you will choose or you're up to choose also different types of documents here uh, from your device also all right so we have our two pages our nda is ready to be uploaded i just select upload and then send the confirmation by sliding uh, to the right and then we see document upload we're sending or uploading now the two documents and the upload was successful it's just simple and as easy as that if i like i can I'm now up to uh, i'm free to scan uh, yeah other documents or take other pictures as well but i also have a history in here so i see we had some some uh, yeah archiving within the korea app and i see we have uploaded some documents i can also select my upload from a few seconds ago and we see we have two pages you see the uh, yeah, file names but also again the information of your last upload it could be like uh yeah it could be also other receivers as well uh, as part of this okay let's switch back to business central and see, check what happened in the dms uh in the meantime Let's select a different view. Sorry, it was just a mistake. <laughs> there we go. All right, so uh, in Business Central, we are here and uh, now we ask ourselves, all right, where, where in DMS is the, or is, are those documents stored? And then we just go to our contacts. Like I said, that's just a simple, um, just a simple way of archiving. Um, on contact level, you are really free to choose where you would like to upload. For this case, we want to do the simple scenario where everyone can benefit and see wh what happens really with the app and the DMS in the background. And on the right side in the DMS fact box, you see that we have already two scanned documents. When I just click and check the documents, we see here the page one with the upload preview. Right now loading here with the contrast level and then without the contrast so high so you see the document really easy in your dms without interacting with business central at all and from the structure of how the archiving um, took place in the background is that our dms korea app is working perfectly fine with our dms app and with our document inbound app Document inbound is maybe also uh, known because we also had some webcasts to it, but um, document inbound is for archiving yeah, external documents or documents, uh, PDF files, whatever, from emails. Um, those documents can be really um, be uh, put back into the DMS also with barcodes or QR codes. So it, it takes um, yeah, the process of archiving back within uh, or in the DMS. And this, um, yeah, uh, th those three apps are working perfectly fine together. And the DMS Korea app sends over those two scanned documents to the document inbound app. And this lets to uh, archive or leads to archive the documents in the DMS. For DMS and for document inbound, please watch also our webcast or you're free to watch our webcast if you like to more. Or if you're, uh, to more to learn uh, or if you're interested in those uh, products as well all right so it was just simple uh, our documents are in the dms um, like i said please um, just take your time do your own processes maybe think about where uh, it makes sense to make make sense to scan documents or maybe take may take photos uh, or pictures uh, within your office or uh, outside uh, on your uh, yeah uh, on your company ground therefore that was it for my side i, I will just give the words back to max yeah, thank you karim for the live presentation of the korea app and also for the scenario you have just shown us 
So I would suggest we move right to the question and answer session. So if you have any questions regarding the mobile app for DMS, so the so-called career app, or regarding document inbound DMS, for example, um, just write it here in the chat on YouTube. Um, please mind, you need a Google account to comment here on the YouTube platform. If you don't have a, a Google account, you can just write the question to Karim or me via Teams or via email, or just give us a call. And uh, we are ready to answer all your questions. I will wait one or two more uh, moments if there are additional questions here in the YouTube chat. I see there's already feedback, um, already looks promising. So thank you for that feedback, um, really appreciate it. And as I don't see any additional questions here on the YouTube chat, I think uh, Karen Mami did a good job to explain everything um, in an understandable way. And as I said, if you have additional questions, just contact us and we are happy to answer them. I will. Um, I just want to give you a shout out to our upcoming webcast. So on the 24th of April, we have a, another webcast scheduled um, for the spring release of CMOVA. Um, we have yeah, um, combined our uploads to uh, the Microsoft App Source um, regarding the four seasons. Um, and the next upload is in the spring, in April. And in this webcast on 24th of April, we are happy to show you all the new product innovations, the new features, uh, optimizations we have done for the uh, different Business Central extensions. And we would be very happy to see you in this webcast. And you can just register on our website, simova.de slash events. And uh, also feel free to share with your colleagues, with customers also. Uh, and with that, I would like to thank you again for your participation and your interest in the Korea app and uh, wish uh, you a nice day and see you next time.